magnetothermal stimulation in neurological disorders. Scientists have used magnetism to activate tiny groups of cells in the brain, an achievement that could lead to advances in studying and treating many neurological diseases. The technique researchers developed is called magnetothermal stimulation. The study was published on August 15, 2017 in eLife, an open access, peer review journal. Arndt Prill, a professor of physics in the University at Buffalo College of Arts and Sciences is the lead researcher. Prill's team included Rail Munchai, a UB PhD candidate in physics, and Shanaz Kodri, a UB postdoctoral researcher, along with researchers from UB. Philips University of Marburg in Germany and the Universidad de Santiago de Compostela in Spain. It gives neuroscientists a powerful new tool, a remote, minimally invasive way to trigger activity deep inside the brain, turning specific cells on and off to study how these changes affect physiology. This induces bodily movements like running, rotating and control of the extremities. There is a lot of work being done now to map the neuronal circuits that control behavior and emotions. Understanding how the brain works, how different parts of the organ communicate with one another and control behavior, is key to developing therapies for diseases that involve the injury or malfunction of specific sets of neurons. Traumatic brain injuries, Parkinson's disease, dystonia and peripheral paralysis all fall into this category. The study reported by Prill's team could also aid scientists seeking to treat ailments such as depression and epilepsy directly through brain stimulation. Magnetothermal stimulation involves using magnetic nanoparticles to stimulate neurons outfitted with temperature-sensitive ion channels, targeting highly specific brain regions. The brain cells fire when the nanoparticles are heated by an external magnetic field, causing the channels to open. Stimulating cells in the motor cortex makes to run, while stimulating cells in the stratum, to turn around. When the scientists activated a deeper region of the brain, it is unable to move the extremities. Using this method, a very small group of cells can be targeted, it is about 100 micrometers across equal to the width of a human hair. Magnetothermal stimulation enables researchers to use heated, magnetic nanoparticles to activate individual neurons inside the brain. Scientists have used magnetic nanoparticles to stimulate neurons deep in the brain to evoke body movements. First, scientists use genetic engineering to introduce a special strand of DNA into targeted neurons causing these cells to produce a heat-activated ion channel. Then, researchers inject specially crafted magnetic nanoparticles into the same area of the brain. These nanoparticles latch onto the surface of the targeted neurons, forming a thin covering like the skin of an onion. When an alternating magnetic field is applied to the brain, it causes the nanoparticles magnetization to flip rapidly generating heat that warms the targeted cells. This forces the temperature-sensitive ion channels to open, spurring the neurons to fire. The particles the researchers used consisted of a cobalt ferrite core surrounded by a manganese ferrite shell. Prull says magnetothermal stimulation has some benefits over other methods of deep brain stimulation. One of the best-known techniques, optogenetics uses light instead of magnetism and heat to activate cells. But optogenetics typically requires implantation of tiny fiber optic cables in the brain, whereas magnetothermal stimulation is done remotely, which is less invasive. Even after multiple stimulation, targeted neurons showed no signs of damage. The next step in the research is to use magnetothermal stimulation to activate and silence multiple regions of the brain at the same time. Thank you.